Well, this weekend, our cool things in the sky guy, Paul Lewis, says to look up. Here he is to explain the events going on in the heavens. Well, hey, everybody, this is Paul Lewis with the University of Tennessee, and I've got some cool things in the sky to tell you about. You probably notice that really bright star-like object in the western sky that's sort of following the sun as it sets. So I'm going to do that here on the screen. This is a web program called Stellarium Web. You can run this yourself. Just go to Stellarium Web online and you'll have access to this program. You can even download Stellarium for yourself at home on whatever computer you have. Anyway, Venus is the uh, second planet from the sun. It's the hottest planet in the solar system and it's just brilliant white in the western sky at sunset. But what we're excited about this month is we're going to move to the eastern sky and That'll be about right there. And let's bring our calendar clock back up and let's move that clock forward to about five o'clock in the morning. And you'll notice here that we have three planets. Jupiter is the brightest and highest in the sky at this point. Saturn is following Jupiter. It's kind of a, it's brilliant why Jupiter is. Saturn is kind of a yellowish color. Mars, on the other hand, is just red. And there's no question about it. It's very tiny, but it's red. and You can see it. It's really easy to pick out. So there are three planets. Plus, here's the bonus, Comet Swan. Comet Swan has been putting on a show in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's beginning to move up into our skies just a little bit right now. And for the next several days, I'm going to let it get up a little higher and sort of move it forward. This would be Saturday morning. Uh, so if you get up really early, 4 o'clock, 4.30, start looking for this. Use your binoculars. And as we advance time, one day at a time, you'll see that it's moving more toward the north from east. And it's actually coming around the sun to rise up into the above the plane of the solar system. And we're going to have, hopefully, a brilliant view of the magnificent tail that it sports for those in the southern hemisphere or has so far. Uh, and it should be at its brightest around the 18th or 19th of the month. So look for that with your binoculars first, and then it should, should become naked eye. So enjoy the night sky. Enjoy the morning sky. You guys stay safe.